Okay, this sermon's entitled, Backsliders Are Still Saved. I'm going to open up with prayer and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, a lot of people don't believe this because, number one, they're probably not saved themselves. They don't understand the nature of salvation. They don't understand God's grace. And when a person is saved, um, there's nothing that can alter that or change that. Because salvation is something that's been done. It's not anything that's like a process or anything like that. It's, 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 a, it's an, an accomplished act. You know, salvation is an event. That's why the Bible says today is the day of salvation. It's not the year of salvation or the, or the decade of salvation. It's the day of salvation. Meaning that once you get saved, you're saved at that very moment. And you're saved forever. So let's open up with a few verses here in uh, Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the, the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king, God is known in her palaces for a refuge. So what this is telling us is that you know God is great. God is too, is too great to sit there and condemn a backslider. And number one, what does the Bible even say a backslider is? Okay, most people have a a flawed understanding of what this word means. Well, the Bible tells us what it is in Proverbs chapter 14. It tells us exactly what it is. Let's look at verse 14. It says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. So, a backslider is just somebody that does things their own way. They don't read the Bible. They don't go to church. They want to, you know, solve their own problems with, you know, their way. They don't want to listen to God's word. They don't want to hear preaching. They've gotten back into whatever type of sin, you know, that anything can be backsliding. Anything can consist of that. So that tells us right there what it is. Now let's take a look at a few verses that talk about backsliding. Turn over to Jeremiah chapter 8. It says in verse 5, why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast to seat. They refuse to return. That's a good picture of a, what a, a person in a backslidden state you know, has done. They're, just, they're going their own way. They won't return. But this does not mean that they're not saved. Because good night, pretty much everybody is backslidden from time to time. You know? So... God's grace still abounds even though people backslide. Now, let's turn over to, let's see, Hosea chapter 14. Let me prove to you that backsliders are still saved. Everyone who is saved stays saved forever. And I've just heard a lot of people say, you know, well, you're saved, but if you what if you backslide or something? What if, you know, they, they don't believe in eternal security. If you backslide, you're just you're going to be disciplined by God, period. Okay, so Hosea has a lot to say about this. Turn to chapter 14. It says in verse 4, I will heal their backsliding. This is God talking, by the way. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. So they're still loved by God. You know, John 3.16 still applies to them. So obviously they're not, they're not lost. So... That's what the Bible teaches. Now, what's the solution to this problem? The solution is just to return back to God. That's all. Now, turn to Jeremiah chapter 3. We're going to see that. The reason I'm preaching this sermon is I'm so fed up with all these idiots out there. And that's what they are. They're idiots that say, well, you know, what if you backslide? Or you, you know, I've, I've talked to people that say, you know, you could you lose your salvation if you backslide. Okay, well, number one, that's just pride. That's just saying, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to heaven, but I'm not a backslider. But so-and-so, you know, my neighbor is a backslider. He's not going to heaven. Well, God is not a respecter of persons. And the Bible makes it very clear in Romans chapter 3 that everyone is guilty. I don't care if you're a small sinner or a big sinner or a backslider. I don't care what you are. You're still a sinner, and you know what? You still need to be, you're still saved by grace. So the solution is not false theology or false, you know, gospel, a false message, the solution is just, you know, they need to return back to God. And we see this in Jeremiah chapter 3. Let's start off with verse 12, where he makes it, he makes it very clear that these people are backslidden, and they have eternal security. Okay, verse 12 makes it clear. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel. 
saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Okay, so he's telling you right there, you know, his, his mercy never runs out. Verse 13, Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the stranger under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am, am married unto you. What does that tell you? That they're saved no matter what. They're married to God. It's like they're adopted into his family. Okay, it's like when you know you're a child of God by faith alone in Christ alone, and and no matter if you backslide or not, you're still God's child. Okay, that proves right there that backsliders are still saved. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And that's like basically another word for like heaven. So this is nonsense to say that backsliders are lost. No. Once saved, always saved. That applies to everybody that's saved. There's no, there's no backsliding. There's no losing it because of backsliding. There's no losing it for anything. There's not. It's impossible to go to hell once you're saved. You couldn't do anything to go to hell. I mean, you can do anything under the sun, and you're still, you're still not going to hell. So this is proof right there that you know, backsliders are still saved. That's what, that what they need to do is they need to return back to God. And you know what? Everyone who's not doing what the Bible says. If you're not a soul winner, if you're not reading the Bible like you should, if you're not in church like you should, you're, then you're backslidden too. So what we need to do is we need to stop you know, minimizing what the definition is and, and lowering the bar so low that you make it like backsliding only, only applies to people that are out on drugs or something. or out They've just gotten away from the church and they're back into the world. No, it applies to anyone who's not obeying the, God, the word of God. It applies to people that are just going their own way. So everyone, to some degree from time to time is backslidden. But thank God, grace keeps abounding. Thank God we have eternal life and we'll, we will never perish. So that's all I have. So I'm preaching this sermon to let people know you're not, there's no, it's not a hopeless state that, that when people backslide. It's not. Because they're still saved. They're still a child of God and they're always going to be a child of God. Once a child of God, always a child of God. Period. That's all I have. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.